Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. Spring has sprung, so that means it is time for the Sephora VIB sale for spring 2023. I'll be going over some of my top picks, some things you might want to look out for, and whether or not it's a good deal or not. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi, and I talk about all things lavish, but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I don't have a lot of makeup items, but there is one thing that just it's calling me, it's at the top of my list. And it comes from One Size Beauty, of course, Patrick Starr. And he came out with the Secure the Sweat Waterproof Mattifying Primer. Now listen, summer is upon us. I'm a big girl and I sweat. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, because normally I ditch foundation in the, the summertime because I'm sweating. But if he made something that is sweat proof, waterproof, and I, it can get me through summer, oh baby, I'm interested, I'm interested. So that's definitely the number one makeup product that is right now in my cart, ready to go. When it comes to skincare, I haven't changed up my routine a lot because I've just been happy with what I've been doing, but Fenty actually came out with a jelly makeup oil remover cleanser. I'm a little bit interested. Just a little bit, right? Right now, pharmacy is has been and always will be probably number one, but I, I kind of want to see what that Fenty does. So I hope they come out with like a travel version because that would be great, but it, it's out there for you if you want to try it. Moving right along to body care. Now, I believe this brand is relatively new to Sephora and you can only get it online, but this is by the brand Honey, and they have a in-shower body moisturizer treatment. And I'm kind of intrigued by it, just a little bit. I love a product that you can lather on right when you turn off the water of your shower. So I was just like, hmm, tell me more. I saw that the reviews were pretty good. Like the, the ingredients kind of worry me only because it does have coconut oil in it, but it also does have jojoba oil and shea butter. So hopefully that'll kind of balance it out. But I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I pull the trigger on it only because I want to know and you can't go in store to actually try it out so I might you know catch the bullet for y'all and see how this goes I never know how to correctly pronounce this brand's name but I want to say it's Quay Quay I'm not sure but what I am sure about is that they have a brand new scent called St. Bart's and honey it's giving it's giving mm, dragon fruit orange blossom, tuberose, Baltic amber. That sounds like a vacation to me. So I'm like, okay, I've never tried their body products. So I'm very curious about it. This does have coconut oil too, but this also has, which one? Squalane or squalane? Okay, this has squalane in it. And also something called kapua, kapua, kapu? But I, I, child, I don't know. You can go ahead and read it. I know I do like their um, their Melrose place. Every time I go to Sephora, I do take a whiff of that, and I'm like, all right, maybe I'll buy it this year. But I don't know. Something about the same Bart's is calling me. It also comes in the body cream and the scrubs, and I think like a scalp situation. But if you're into this line, they have a new scent, girl. For my Sol de Janeiro fans. They have the Boom Boom Firmeza Firming and De-Bloating Body Oil. De-Bloating, okay. But they have that. I think most people are trying to pick that up just based off the scent of it and not necessarily the, you know, the qualities that they are suggesting that this does. So if you do like their Boom Boom Cream and want it, I guess that scent as, an oil you might want to check this one out um i'm not a fan of the boom boom cream but you know to each his own but oh let me tell you if you are a fan of the i want to say the coconut one number 33 it has been discontinued if you see it in store you might want to pick it up since they're discontinuing the cocoa they have launched something new and this is the real radiance illuminating body cream so i suspect 
this is going to give a little shimmer, a little shine to your body. Um, it is limited edition, so we don't know how long that is going to be around for. But it's giving beachy notes of solar tuberose. Tuberose is really popular for the summertime, I see. And cocoa. So we got sunshine on the skin. Carefree vacation vibes. That's their words. Of course, this is leaning more so for the spring summer. We want to lotion it up. We want to be all glistening and, you know, shimmer, shimmer, shake, shake. I do want to get my nose on it because I haven't found my right Solo de Janeiro scent, but maybe this might be it. You know, I, I tend to like all the limited edition stuff. I'm, I'm realizing that about myself. And it's just like, why, why the stuff that I like want to be discontinued? Comment down below, what's, what items be discontinued? And you're just like, great, I love it. Now it's gone. <laughs> Real quick, if you are one of the girlies who likes to lather and slather all the shimmers and you know, the body makeup and things like that, might I suggest to you the Sephora Collection Makeup Match Body Makeup Brush. It's $18, I think it's a good buy. You don't want, you know, stuff on your hands when you trying to lather it in. Like that's my biggest pet peeve. I hate when I have like glitter residue on my hands. So I definitely will be adding maybe one, maybe two of those body butter, body butters, body brushes to my cart just so it's a little bit easier, you know? I don't want to get my hands dirty. Time for fragrances. So, you know, I always keep my eye out on the Sephora favorite sets. So they have a deluxe mini perfume sampler set for $80. Get this. They have the Nest Balinese Coconut Oil in there. Now, y'all probably like, okay, cool. I, I, I. They have the redemption coupons in there and you can redeem it for the full size. Now the full size is $98. This set is only 80. You do the math, I get 20% off. Like, come on, sis, I'm trying to put you up on some games. So I will be looking forward to getting this one because I did want to add the um, the coconut oil to my collection, but baby, I was just like, yes. They do have other scents just in case you wanted something else to redeem it for. They do have the brand new Versace Dylan Purple in there. Again, you save a little bit of money by getting the set. Do with that with what you will. But if you do see it in store, grab it. Don't think about it and say, oh, I'll come back. Mm -mm, don't do it. See it, grab it, pay for it. And you can redeem it on the spot. Like y'all don't be knowing that. Bust it wide open and redeem it right then and there. So you ain't even gotta make two trips. Sis. Don't sleep on the tropical perfume sampler set because they do have the Prada Paradox in there, which I absolutely love. Every time I wear that, I get a compliment. It might be a couple of dollars more than the actual travel size perfume. But if you were wanting to sample a few of these, I mean, $3 to get what? Four or five extra samples? It's not a bad deal to me. Killian has their mini perfume icon sampler set for $30. Now, that is a lot of money for the amount of product that you get, but I know Killian isn't readily available at all Sephora's, so this is a nice way to, you know, sample it at home. They do have two scents in the collection that I personally love and recommend, which is Love Don't Be Shy and Angel Share. So, I mean, if you wanted to give it a try, this is the best time to do it. I've been hearing a lot about this Glossier um, you perfume and I just really want to get my nose on it when I did go to Sephora a few times they did have the bottle but it was empty and when I see empty bottles I'm I'm curious it's like oh what you smell like like I, I need to know so they do have it they also do have a travel size but it's a rollerball so yeah if you want to take the chance with a rollerball go ahead they do have that but I really want to get my nose on it like why is this bottle empty? <laughs> I need to know what it smells like. It does say it has pink pepper, ambrexies, and umbrox. I'm gonna say ambroxin and iris. So it seems like it's a really nice scent. So hopefully I can get into the store and get my nose on it before the sale. I think I might go after work one day just to, you know, map out the store. <laughs> I'd like to take this moment to Congratulate Burberry. Burberry done finally heard our prayers, y'all. They have converted 
from Rollerball to Travel Spray. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we did it. Thank you. Thank you. They got with the program. Burberry Her, Burberry Her EDT, Burberry Her Elixir. We can spray it now. Oh my gosh, it killed me not being able to recommend Burberry Her, the travel sprays because they were roller balls. But baby, they've seen the light. We got the travel. So now I'm like, I, I am getting Burberry Elixir, but now I'm like, oh, I can send my niece the uh, travel spray and she can go all through it cause she really liked it the last time she was up here and we went to Sephora. So I'm like, <laughs> It's a travel size now. So don't fret. It's no no longer a rollerball. And if it is a rollerball, then it was probably old stock. Just in case, I wanna put it out there, just in case, you know, you do end up with one, but it looks like they have converted to sprays and I'm here for it. Someone who still hasn't gotten the travel spray memo, but I still wanna try them out is our girl, Carolina Herrera. She has a brand new perfume called Good Girl Blush. And she has been uh, talked about highly in these streets thus far. So I definitely want to see what it's about. I would have purchased a travel size if it didn't have a rollerball. So I want to get my nose on it, of course, because I want to see what the hype is. I did like um, the last one they came out with, the Good Girl Glam. So I, I want to see how different it is between that one and the brand new one. But um, yeah, so far the reviews on it have been very positive. We all know that Valentino dropped their intense version of Born in Roma. Me personally, I didn't quite vibe with it. I'm still trying to vibe with the original, but again, they do have the travel version available for purchase. So you know me, I love a travel spray, okay? I do. If you wanted a more intense version of the original, this might be your thing. I will preface it by saying definitely smell it before you buy it because I feel like a, not a lot of people love it the way they love the original. So um, definitely get a, get a sample or just go inside a, a Sephora and try it out before you buy it. A perfume that I am a little interested in is Paco Rabanne Fame. I did try it out and I actually liked it. I, I, I liked it quite a bit. So it had that uh, vanilla vibe to it and you know, you can't really go wrong with vanilla. Yeah, it was a floral type of vanilla and I was like, I, I, I can stand behind this one. Like it actually surprised me. You should have saw me in the store when I sprayed it. I sprayed it and I was like, oh, oh, kind of like this. So yeah, that one has, again, been a, a little chatter behind that one. And I am definitely interested in buying at least the sample. Oh, not the sample, girl, the travel size. And then they have this one travel um, pack where you get a mini robot, just in case if you wanted like the robot but didn't want to buy the big bottle. There's, there's a little something for you. <laughs> Speaking of Ness, they do have a mini perfume discovery sampler set for $25 and it has most of the fragrances that they have. Um, the only reason why I wanted to point this one out is because first and second of all, all the, all the scents that they have included in this set, I actually really do love, but they also included Balinese coconut. So this is, it looks like more of a splash situation. I think they're, each of the bottles are like two ml. So it's not a lot of product, but if you just wanted to try it out, you know, and see how you felt about it, I, I would take a look at it because I really love, love those scents. Since summer is basically almost around the corner, Seven Virtues has the Coconut Sun perfume that they just launched in. It's perfect for springtime, summertime. So I do want to get my nose on it because I do enjoy the brand and what they have to offer. I have Vanilla Woods and I also have the Lotus Pear, which I really, really do like. So hopefully I do like the Coconut Sun. They do offer a travel spray. Yes, I, I, I'm just on my travel spray game right now. So um, yeah, Coconut Frangipani Vanilla. So it seems like it would be a really good fit 
just saying it might be a little little something i could add to the collection so if not even this year next year another coconut fragrance for the summer is being released by skylar they have lime sands and it's going to be zesty lime sea salt and coconut water very very beach worthy so i like all of those scents mixed together so i do want to get my nose on it but it seems like it's going to be actually they say it right here margarita in a bottle yeah like i feel like that's going to be a, a scent that most people would like well i don't know because people will be thrown off by a line including myself so it's I don't know do i still want to try it i still might try it i don't know i don't know if they have it in store i'll spray it and see you know how my nose reacts to it but if you are someone who likes a little zestier coconut for the summer you might be interested in this one i haven't sampled this brand a ton but ellis brooklyn has these mini chapters perfume coffret set and it has one scent that I actually do have a travel size of, and that is the Sunfruit. I believe they released that last year, but they have four scents in there. And I don't know, I, I think this is a pretty cool little travel set. I think it's more so of a dabber, which is a downer for me, but they have the vanilla, the salt, and a uh, myth in there as well. So, if you are into dabbers and you wanted to try this brand out yeah you get 7.5 ml so it's basically a travel size version of their uh perfumes i just wish it did have some sort of spray on there a spray top but it's a dabber so you know it's still travel size so i mean you 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 make your own decision. Juliet Has a Gun released a, a new perfume called Lust for Sun. Everybody is getting in a coconut bag. So this one has ylang ylang coconut and vanilla and is categorized as a fresh solar. So uh, we, we gonna see what, what, what this is. I'm not sure if they actually have a coconut scent that I, can think about off the top of my head I know they have vanilla vibes so you know coconut of course it's just one of those summer type staples and I think that they wanted to bring something other than the vanilla vibes in there those two together probably be really nice a really nice layering combination probably Ooh, I don't know but um they do have it and Hopefully they have it in store and I can smell this one too because it's summer, coconut. Let's go, get in line with the rest of them. Although this isn't a new perfume, it's still listed under the new category in fragrances. And as Jimmy Choo, I want you. I, I'm just gonna assume that they're now starting to sell Jimmy Choo perfume. I'm not sure, I can't recall, but I really did like this scent. It almost, almost slightly, 2.5 seconds, reminded me of Parfums de Mali uh, Casilli. This does have that peach in it where it's not like hella like realistic, juicy peach running down your arms. Like it's not like that, but I like it still. So I think I might pick up a travel, wait, I think I already have a travel size, no? If I don't have it, I'm getting it. And if I already have it, I need to use it. <laughs> if you didn't know, Fenty Perfume is now sold at Sephora stores. It's been sold there since her Super Bowl performance. So now you're able to get it. I do wish that they actually come out with a travel size version because I needed more time to sit with it because I kind of liked it. But you know, when you're spraying stuff in Sephora, all of the smells are going on. So like, I wasn't sure if I actually liked the perfume or it just was a flat out no for me, but I still want to try it out. And now that it's at Sephora, I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to buy the big bottle. <laughs> I really don't. But um, so far, if you, if you liked it, you might be wanting to get a backup of it or, you know, your second bottle, first bottle, whatever. 
it is available on Sephora. And finally, we have to talk about Kayali, their Yum Gelato Pistachio Perfume. I did a whole review on that fragrance. I still like it. Okay, I still like it. I'm hoping that, you know, as time goes on, it gets a little bit deeper, but not too deep because I still think it's really, really great for spring and summer, like as a gourmand perfume. Again, if you are a clean girl, this is your gourmand. I'm gonna put up the video of this perfume or check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.